Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, doing this fine day? Hopefully, it is good. Um, we are getting closer and closer to fall. Uh, not that that has anything to do with today's video, but I just thought I'd let you know. Um, today is gonna kind of be like a day in the life. Not that my vlogs aren't kind of like days in my life, but um, it is Tuesday. It is my day off. So I have some stuff to do uh, around the house. Not really around the house. Uh, not really around the house, but uh, I do have some stuff to do. So I just woke up and to start my day off. I left usually. Uh, I wake up about nine o'clock most days. Uh, I try to anyways. And I'm gonna lift my. Well, there's a lot of key components to lifting but and I'm not by any means a big person so you can't really take this stuff from me but uh, alongside of eating if you are not writing your calories down stuff like that I don't really do that probably should uh, but if you're not writing writing your warm-up down if you are not warming up in general you should uh, it is much better off if you're taking five pounders or 10 pounders and getting the blood through your muscle causes less injuries. Um, but if you are not warming up, you should, you should write down your warm up, and then you should always write down your program. If you don't write down your program, you will not stick to it unless you are much better than me. But I stick to my program if I write it down. If I don't write it down how many sets, how many reps, I won't stick to it because I am terrible like that. I'm gonna write my program down. Today is chest and my back is probably all right. I might do deadlifts, but probably some shoulder work. A little bit of shoulder, maybe forearms added in there as well, we'll see. I might throw forearms in at like the end. So let's get this program written down. All right, so I know this is terribly messy, but machine flies, light, that's what I'll start with. Incline bench and incline flies for superset, four sets of 10. Machine press, push ups, four sets of 10, superset. Shoulder press and reverse curls for the shoulders and forearms, four sets of 10. That will do it for me. Um, I lift, I've been terrible lately, but I lift almost every day. I, I try to lift almost every day, like every other day, you know. Um, Plus on top of that, I pick cases at, at work and uh, it does get tiresome on the body, but um, that should do it for me. Oh, I didn't put deadlifts on there. I'll write deadlifts on there too. I probably, I might even do deadlifts over reverse curls. So we'll see. Uh, I do need to strengthen my lower back a little more, but other than that, let's get started. All right, so I just finished up my workout. It was a good workout, um, but I have to shower quick. All right, shower's done. Should probably do my hair uh, and get a shirt on. Okay, um, well, as you can see, put a shirt on, didn't do my hair, because I remembered that I have a haircut today, and I usually gel my hair to the side or else I, my bangs go down to my eyebrows and I look like an emo kid, but, um, Put my socks on and we will probably head to Napa so I can get some oil and a filter for Burr so I can go do her oil first. That's probably the first thing. I'm going to make breakfast, obviously, but uh, make breakfast. I'm just going to eat a bagel. Head to Fowler to go pick up the filter from Randy. So you guys will probably get to see Randy and we will go from there. All right, so we are headed to Fowler. Uh, I had a bagel. Hopefully I don't have peanut butter in my face. Nope, I don't. Uh, if Burr saw me right now, Burr, if you saw me right now, you'd be like, what the fuck are you wearing? I uh, have my boots on. Because I really need to, like, I have to break these in. Like, if I don't break these in on days I have off, uh, and then I work on days, like I wear them on the days that I work, I'm going to be screwed. Because getting 20,000 steps in with brand new boots that shape your ankles is not fun. 
don't know if you knew that or not. So I'm gonna put you guys down. Uh, I'll hit the fowler, go see Randy, pick up the oil and oil filter. Um, I'll have to have him look up the oil. I think it's five, five thirty, but um, something I looked up said zero twenty, which I don't believe is true. So let's go do that. All right. So Randy was not there. Uh, he might have been there. I just didn't see him. So I picked up my oil, Burr's oil, Burr's filter. Um, got sticky butt with me. We're going to my ma's house so I can fix Burr's car. I say fix, just change oil on it. And then I have to, I'll leave Molly there. I have to cut down that bush today. I don't have to, but I'm going to. And then my parents are burning stuff. So I will try to cut it that as low as possible. Bring it back to my parents' house so that um, we can burn that because it's not a good bush. Mm. I don't know other words to say other than trash. It's junk uh, and likes to collect June bugs. And my wife does not like, no one likes June bugs. I'm going to be honest, but I've never had an issue with June bugs. Um, as you can see, though. The leaves are starting to change a little bit on my silver maple and the maple across the road. So that's cool. Fall is almost here. That's all I have to say. All right, I will uh, pick you up when I get there. So I can't remember if the last time I did for oil in this car, I wrote 5,000 miles or what I wrote, but it's like, oh, that's a gas. Damn it, why did I do that? It's like spot on as far as like, she's like a hundred miles over. So she probably could have went a thousand more depending on uh, what I wrote down and what actually needed to be driven. But it's also not gonna hurt to do the oil. So I'll get her done, I guess. All right, so my camera's about to die. Uh, I got Burr's oil changed. Turn out there are any dogs over here. Um, her oil's all good, I'm leaving Molly. I have my uh, DeWalt saw. By the way, the electric chainsaw back there, the battery powered ones, they work pretty good, not gonna lie. And they're much lighter. Um, obviously, if you have a chainsaw already, I wouldn't go and buy one of those, but. It is kind of nice being in town. Not that it makes that much, like a chainsaw would really make that much noise. Plus you would be using it at night anyways or something like that, you know, but uh, it does make a difference. And I like it. So uh, I am going to head home, cut that bush out, probably put it in the back of my truck if it fits. I have a, uh, a cover on the back of my truck, so I'm not sure if it's gonna fit or not. We're gonna hope it does. But um, I will do that, take it to my parents' house again. So I'm driving back and forth and then back. And then by that time, uh, I'll probably edit the video and it might be time to get my hair cut. So let's do that. All right, so I took all of it and put it in this trailer, my grandpa's trailer, uh, because it obviously would not have fit in the back of my truck. This stuff is so freaking mean. When I tell you I've stabbed myself, look at how many needles are on these things. I stabbed myself like easily 20 times in the hand. One went pretty deep, that fucker hurt. Um, so I'm gonna get all of this onto this pile. My dad cleaned up a little bit of the driveway from like branches he scrapes with a camper. And uh, there was a little clearing he cleared out so that they could take the little barn that's down there and put it up by the garage so they could put tables and chairs and stuff like that. So let's get to it. All 
right, sorry, it's been a little jumpy. I uh, just got home. Let me extend you guys here so I can take my boots off. Just got home after going to my parents' house, dropping off that bush. I have to put weed killer on it, or um, it's actually brush killer. That way it dies because it's it was still alive. It wasn't dead. It was just it needed to go. I didn't like it. As you can tell, it's very uh, thorny, so I want to put something there. I'm either going to put something there, or we're going to take all of it out so I can mow easier. Um, I will probably leave that up to burr. I don't care either way. It's not really that big of a deal to mow around it. Oh, that feels so good. Not big of a deal to mow around it, so... Um, that's probably the plan. We'll probably just keep it there and put something else there like uh, more plants or a bush or maybe a oh I can't put a tree there because I have uh, power lines running to the barn and from the barn I'm trying to think of where it actually comes from No, it's running from the road to my house and the barn ones run underground, so there's that. Um, I think I will go edit some videos. I'm not gonna show you guys that. Um, and probably wait till my haircut. Uh, I may mow, I sh probably should mow. I don't want to mow. <sighs> I probably should, but I don't wanna. It's been hectic already. I do have to get chicken out in the crock pot, so let me do that quick and then like I said, I'll edit videos and pick up when my haircut's done and we might call it a day. If not, get a little bit more work done. All right guys, so Burr should be home pretty soon. As you can see, got my haircut. Um, and we'll probably call it a vlog after this. Hopefully this isn't smudgy because the dog licked it. But um, I've noticed that my camera, my Canon M50, um, that I do a lot of cinematics with. I recorded me cutting this bush down earlier. That's what it looks like, by the way. Because if I can't get the footage to fix, which I think I found a fix for it, um, I need burr. Because um, basically, I have to put my card in her laptop because my my computer doesn't have the thing for it. And I think I can format the card and hopefully fix the problems. It's basically showing up as zero kilobytes. So there's like no footage there when I recorded like 10 minutes of it. So there's that. But like I said, uh, if I can fix it, it'll be in there. If not, I apologize. That's what it looks like now. Um, we might take this fence out and maybe just have this all grass. Or we might plant something new. Like I said, there is a power line above it, but it's not that close. We could put something there if I really wanted to. I don't know if I really want to or not, so we will see. But thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys supporting me and what I do every single day. Hopefully you liked this day in the life um, type footage. I, I basically... All my vlogs are kind of day in the life, but this one was like, well, here's what I had to do today. This is my, my process through the day, so that's that. Burr and I may go for a walk down the road later. I don't know, I just point the camera in places that I think you guys can see, but uh, they are, however, they're putting new more gravel in, so um, should be a nicer walk because it was muddy and uneven. Not that, I mean, you're, when you're driving out, it's different, but uh, hopefully it'll be a good day. Good rest of the day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.